Okay, so we were talking about uh, urban form as a first part of the urban transportation systems. And we've talked about the urban system, urban form is basically a spatial imprint or physical uh, feature of the city, which gives you which gives you an idea how, how does the city shapes like. And transportation systems is much of the much of the integral part of shaping the whole city. Uh, so as you can see that urban form uh, or city shapes, uh, some people call it. Uh, so urban form is a technical word. You might have heard about it, especially in this sustainable land use planning course, that urban form has emerged as a concept in which gives you uh, the, uh, the physical uh, outlook of a city. Like for example, if you wanted to look at how much is the city densities or the built up area of, a area, uh, of any area, how much is the built up to green area ratio is that so that all uh, is related to the urban form of the shape of the city so look just look at this uh, kind of uh, uh, patterns in which in this pattern of course shape is very much visible as well but transportation of the road network it has played a vital role in shaping the city city's outlook so uh, if it is a kind of a road network is uh, uh, haphazard so that will give you a very uh, bad picture of an unplanned picture of the city or the settlement and similarly how if it is a grid pattern there you might find different kind of road junction is there uh, then the radial pattern is there so of course we'll go into the talk of patterns as well so my, uh, some of you especially planners uh, might know uh, or might have gone through this urban forms or street patterns uh, which has direct influence on your urban design of the city. So uh, if you know then excuse me, but for the rest of you, it might be something new. Okay, uh, so anyone take a wild guess that which city is this? And what are the physical features you see in this city? Uh, yes, Alia, please. So I guess Barcelona. Yeah. And okay. I guess the neighborhood style of development, jo block uh, style, ke jo under ki taraf khulta hai. Yes, definitely. So that is uh, that is Barcelona. So this is just the, just the shape of the city or the urban form of the city can help you even recognize different cities. So every city, most or more or less, almost every city has their own distinct patterns. Okay, uh, anyone take a guess? What is this city? Or you see a big road networks, maybe small roads. So urban form is being uh, complemented or supplemented, I would say, uh, with the, the physical feature of the city. Anyone? Just take a guess, it's fine. Okay, so okay, this is Beijing. This is the like the Royal Kingdom Palace in the center, and every city city is being. I mean, all the city is designed around it. It is a core core city center. This one, I'm I'm sure uh, planners would be aware of this city. Anyone? Yes, Taha, please. Okay, no. Okay, anyone else? Samad, are you there? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, Taha, I cannot cannot hear you clearly. OK, uh, Salia, please, uh, you go ahead. Uh, sir, I can't identify the city, but I think it's uh, uh, made around an axis, a central point or a sake arts. Yeah, that's the plan. So that is a kind of a uh, concept of Brasilia design in, uh, in Brazil. So yes, that is a winged pattern city design in which this is your uh, city center then these are neighborhood like wings and it has it, uh, they are growing so that is Brasilia uh, yes sir uh, 
lots of bestosion at your end taha so i'm not sure i can hear you correctly but i'm i'm sure that you might have guessed it correctly so yeah that is prasidia okay another city uh, anyone take a wild guess Okay, Planus, uh, I'm like, uh, can you hear me or are you there? Anyone? Uh, Nazar? I mean, no one is responding. Yes, Taha? Okay, let me go back. Okay, uh, I'll resume the lecture. I, I guess no one's serious enough for today's class, but okay. Uh, that is Chandigarh. Uh, this is another city, a uh, diamond shaped city uh, or a settlement, I would say. Uh, it's in Italy, and that gives you an urban, urban look of the city. Uh, this is another uh, uh, part of uh, the world in which radial pattern is over there. So, uh, yes, sir, Vas, please. सर ये प्रीवियस पिक्चर जो आपने दिखाई है सर ये कौन सा पैटर्न को फॉलो अप करता है ये वाला सर रेडियल है सर इट्स कॉल्ड अ डायमंड पैटर्न विद रेडियल ओवरलैपिंग इट्स अ डायमंड विद अ ओवरलैप ऑफ रेडियल सो वी विल गो इनटू ईच ऑफ दिस पैटर्न इन डिटेल एज़ वेल इन द क्लास इन द कमिंग लेक्चर्स बट यस यू आर राइट सो इट्स बेसिकली वंस वी कम बैक टू द सीट पैटर्न्स दैट वी टेल यू दैट देयर इज काइंड ऑफ अ मिक्स्ड पैटर्न्स इन मोस्ट ऑफ द सिटीज वन ऑफ वन सिटी डज नॉट हैव The same pattern copied all over it, because it is metropolitan, especially and especially a traditional city, uh, which are not planned in the beginning and with time it has grown. So many different settlement or sectors or parts of the city will have different kind of street patterns. So a consistent street pattern in a city is a very difficult and very monotonous, and it it looks really bad. So uh, it's kind of a mixed things as well. So here this pattern is a kind of overlap. Look, this uh, I can turn on the pointer. Good question, by the way, uh, it was. So this kind of this is a radial kind of patterns are there. Also, a diamond pattern is exhibited, like this triangle, for example. This is a kind of a, and this these are some rings or radial patterns. And in the outskirts, you see these are uh, your grid patterns. So it's kind of a mixed up pattern. But predominantly, I was just telling you that road patterns are definitely. influencing the shape of the city so how you design a road network in a city that will give you a very good design of a city or a, a brief overview or over, over outlook of a city so that is my main point for this are uh, you got my point at bus yes sir sir isi tarah hi hota hai most jo design karte hain cities ko to wo ek pattern ko follow up nahi ho sakta matlab mere khayal mein kyunki agar future mein usko develop kar future extension ke liye bhi rakh diya jata hai to kuch topography ki topographical constraints is tarah hote hain ki usko aap ek pattern ko follow up nahi kar sakte aapki baat bilkul sahi hai thank you yes 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 okay thank you uh okay then moving on uh, this is another like pattern in which this is a traditional city in which Uh, all of these are predominantly uh, a radial pattern is observed so that is another city moscow hopefully this is a very common uh, uh, anyone which city is this sir new york hai okay uh, good guess any uh, but no no it's not anything else Anyone else take a guess? It's fine. Sir, so somewhere in Italy. Okay, getting warmer. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Sir, Venus. Yes. Yes, sir. That is Venus. If I pronounce it correct, Venus, Venus. Uh, so yes. So in this road network, instead of road network, these. you can see these are canals this is water canals so this is like we call it the grand trunk uh, yeah, like grand trunk road in pakistan gt road this is grand canal so this is a huge this is all the these are called water buses for example these are some stops of water buses and everywhere you can see more or less uh, in major portion you can say or a big larger portion is these are canals 
So the small boats are traveling in these canals. So this is a same replica, but instead of roads, it is waterways. The whole city is planned like this. They are composed of small islands. They are connected with the bridges. So this is a Venice, which uh, kind of gives you a shape of the city. Yes, sir, boss, please. Sorry, is com kaise sakte hain cities with no roads? Uh, city with no roads. Uh, uh, yes, you can say because there is uh, if there is small road or small, uh, there are always alleys. The small uh, alleys uh, uh, or gali, jisko hum kahenge, that is uh, in the neighborhoods. So, okay, with like okay, I would say this that no car is in this city. This I can say. All of these are parked right here. This is a highway which connects the main city center to the to the city, like airport or this is a railway station. This is and all the cars are like predominantly parked outside the cities. So no city can enter the inner city or the uh, old city. You can say. So to some extent, okay, you can say that city without no roads, but I would say that alleys or small <laughs> roads are present there. So and roads are used for walking as well. So. Okay, that again depends upon the. You can you can say a city without highways. That is a valid point. I would say. Yes, sir. Bas, got it. Okay, sir. Okay. This is another city. Now the here it is a diamond pattern is a, is a visible. So, which city is this? Anyone? Okay, let me point out this is a very prominent feature landmark. I would say this red point you have seen this building. So London. Okay, so a good, uh, very close, close enough, but not quite right. Like you take it and maybe we talk. Uh, yes, that is Washington. Yes, so I think Sephalo. Uh, got it confused with Buckingham Palace because it has more or less same design as. So this is basically the White House. Okay, this is the Lincoln Memorial. So this is a uh, whole presidential avenue. Okay, so these are the uh, diplomatic enclaves and uh, offices, and this is a city all developed, developed by uh, kind of a radial background. So this gives you a, a shape of a city. Okay, so coming back to the concept so uh, urban form is made up of certain elements so we have talked about like okay let me go back to show you the picture some of let tell me some kind of characteristics which is apparent from this city map what do you see in this map okay what are the prominent feature which help you uh, judge that this is a the city anyone Ahmed, Ahmed Arif. I heed. I in class. Where are where are you people? Uh, no, yes, sir. G G G. Yes, sir. Uh, please raise your hand before talking, please. Arbaz, you go ahead. Sir, maybe the presidential avenue, sir, which you have already told. Okay. So, uh, what would we say to general, uh, general thing? Uh, uh, landmark, maybe. Okay, landmark. We can say it's a landmark, right? Anything else which is apparent from the city map? Anything else? Uh, yes, is one. Uh, sir, sir, first, sir, first, first, water source. Okay, water bodies. Very good point. So water bodies are over there, right? That is what I'm looking for. Yes, Alia, please. Uh, sir, the roads are in an axis form. Uh, ek, uh, ek, there's a certain grid. Uh, so network, just... kind of a road network, right? Yes, sir. So road network is there. So it looks like kind of a... Uh, okay, what else you can see from these pictures? So significant access be a just get around uh, development uh, like uh, specific places as in care around uh, development ka pattern. Move okay, okay, okay. So right, right. So pattern kind of a pattern. Uh, Samad, yes, you feel this first. 
लैंडमार्क हो सकता है लेकिन ये है क्या चीज राइट okay so, okay so probably these are some uh, individual landmarks of course i don't know the landmarks the people who are they living there they might know it perfectly so the main i'm think looking at the main overall picture so of course uh, like i was pointed out that buildings some buildings are there buildings are part of urban form transportation is a part of urban form rizwan said water bodies are part of urban form we are right like that would help in uh, defining the shape of the city that is an integral part of shape of designing uh sale highlighted the road network is there so very good so road network what else you see i see greenery over there as well okay so greenery or green part landscape yes is one you know sir wahi landscape uh, topography se bhi like the area nazar aata the green areas agar hum is tarah yes definitely so so these are i would say these are called of the background elements of the urban form these are the elements which how they are linked together or how they are connected together they form a kind of a pattern and that pattern like uh, uh, if it is uh, viewed in a, a urban design sense of architectural uh, viewpoint then that arrangement of that these different components or elements how they are arranged together and shown together that is the urban form of a city and we are talking about a macro scale not one building and how it is surrounded by different landscape of course at a certain level at a building level it is constituted towards an architectural frame of reference but from urban design frame of reference we are talking about the city scale at the macro level and how they are arranged together that defines the urban form of the city so it is a physical aspects and and how they are related together is uh, urban design and site design and urban design is a cross between uh, your urban planning urban form and individual building design so building design individual building design how it is or individual element how it is related over the land, over some uh, uh, at the macro scale it gives you a field or a study field of study of urban design so what are the factors which influences uh, your relationship uh, uh, i will talk about from the past history like uh, land ownership patterns uh how how your ownership pattern uh defines the urban form how does uh, your ownership or the shape of your land parcels how it defines your overall city's uh, shape of the city anyone land ownership patterns it influences your urban form yes shweb <coughs> ये सर ऐसा है कि जैसे हम कंट्रोल एरियाज में देखते हैं जो कि प्लान नहीं है उसमें लैंड जो ऑनरशिप पैटर्न है वो बड़े इरेगुलर से होते हैं और जबकि जो हमारे वो प्राइवेट हाउसिंग स्कीम्स हैं या जो डेवलप्ड एरिया है जिसे हम एल डी एम डिवेल्प एरिया कहते हैं जो प्रॉपर अप्रूव्ड है या स्कीम है उनमें जो रेगुलर पैटर्न में ऑनरशिप मिलती है हमें प्रॉपर एक रेगुलर प्लाट्स होते हैं या रेगुलर ना भी हों तो वो प्लानिंग के मतलब जो है इरेगुलर हों लेकिन वो किसी ना किसी प्लानिंग के तहत ही होंगे वो तो ये एक बड़ा इम्पैक्ट है जो कि अर्बन फॉर्म डिसाइड करता है perfect perfect that exactly the answer i was looking for so land ownership patterns in the past your fields or everything that they are not clearly or uh, clearly uh, i would say uh, marked like in a grids or in a blocks in the past these designs for example have you seen a housing society which is perfectly square even if they in they are forming grid square the boundaries are all never smooth they are very irregular always the housing scheme boundaries because they are acquiring the land and land acquisition depends upon the land ownership pattern some people try to sell it some people don't sell it and in the past 
the land ownership or if you see that maps in state management we call it uh, letter maps you know it's made on cloth maps so uh, so if you see different mozas subdivision so i uh, i'm not talking about the seal sub district that is administrative i'm talking about uh, kind of uh, this ownership pattern that those are forming the maps in patwal is like they have uh, that moza there irregular in shape just as shape pointed out so those things which do not have a particular shape designing a city or a scheme on it it will give you a shape a different shape of the city so in the past your own land partnership uh, ownership pattern they are irregular in shape and people started constructed constructing their own uh, they had the land so they started constructing buildings on that so then in the old city that is why it is irregular that road uh, that the show this for example let me show you the slide first slide in which we were talking about this this thing so this was the old land ownership pattern everyone had different assets and everyone created their own roads created their own buildings in a irregular pattern because land ownership pattern at that time existed like this so the first component or the first thing in the past it has it is unless and until a government or some private uh, company they acquire all the land and then they plan it according to their own needs so that they can have a smooth in the center but in the edges you'll see that land ownership plays a very important role in influencing the shape of the city any question till now or any suggestion or something you might observe in your own area which has shaped or defined your city shape okay land technology how we are going to be with the, with the uh, uh, evolution of different softwares or auto uh, CAD, uh, computer aided design softwares uh, they have this design so that is with rapid technology and we we came to know the different modes are there so which kind of mode needs how much width of the road that directly influenced how we are going to be designing the roads then transportation systems are there which kind of transportation systems we want to launch and then very important parts in uh, uh, nowadays is the planning regulation how much is the height of a particular building allowed for example everyone wants to give an example what is the typical height of the building allowed in planning regulations in pakistan or uh, let's say punjab double street okay, yes. sir ye 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 vary karta hai actually sir so, societies pe bhi har society ne apna ek standard develop kiya hua hai so mostly sir uh, double story okay double story is your when concern is very double stories i'm talking about the height of the building okay uh, 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 safula uh, what would be the typical height of the double story building then and what is the maximum height it is allowed to be uh, uh, maximum height sir uh, 25 feet okay 25 it's it's okay it's a good 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 guess yes sir bas please सर uh, जैसे ही आपने कहा कि मतलब इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द रोड्स के मतलब या जैसे मैं बात करूं इस्लामाबाद में सीडीएम है ठीक है सर तो मोस्टली जो हाई राइज बिल्डिंग होती है उनका रेशो तो वन रेशो फाइव होता है जो और सिविल एविएशन से भी जो है ना उनकी परमिशन लेकिन उनके हिसाब से जो है ना उनकी विथ ऑफ द रोड पे डिफाइन हुआ है अगर 150 फीट से कम रोड है तो उस पर हाइट कम है अगर 100 फीट है तो उस पर कोई और डिफरेंट है उसकी अपनी एनालिसिस है क्या मुताबिक तो जैसे ही मतलब अगर रेजिडेंशियल एरिया है तो उसकी 35 फीट जो है मैक्सिमम मेरे ख्याल में हाइट है और अगर अपार्टमेंट बिल्डिंग है तो वन रेशो फाइव के हिसाब से अगर किया जाए तो अगर वो फिफ्टी परसेंट ग्राउंड कवरेज है तो जी प्लस टेन पे जा सकता है okay so you arbas raised a very important point which was looking for thank you arbas for helping me out that road width in front of your building determines your height of the building so road widths plays a very again coming back to our main point main argument that transportation network plays a role in shaping your city so width of the road according to the planning regulations in different city cefal uh, is right that it varies in different societies or different cities but that plays a very vital role in defining the height of a city uh, yes is one uh, sir fir bhi bada role play karta hai height ki yes fir floor area ratio is very important so that again the building height and the surrounding area how much you are going to be leaving around it 
flow area ratio plan uh, ratio also plays a very vital role so kind of an architectural thing is also there which uh, 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 if anyone does not know what is flow area ratio anyone who does not know what is flow area ratio i assume everyone knows because architects civil engineers and planners are there okay so these these road network this uh, flow area ratio or planning regulations to be frank uh now it can be your uh, far it can be a uh, uh, site space you need to leave uh, parking space you need to provide setback you need to provide uh, greenies you are supposed to be providing in this area so all of these and the road in front of that building or plot or maybe in the surrounding as well or is it your building is it a corner plot or something so that impacts your urban form at the small level it might not it might it might look okay okay in one building okay he said okay mm, okay but at the large scale look at hundred of hundred houses built like this 200 thousands of buildings built on a particular planning regulation it will give you a shape of city so urban form is there okay uh, next point existing land use yes what was pre developed in that area will it be demolished or something like that you're designing a new thing is a village a old village going to be merged into the new housing scheme plan or not so existing land uses are there main roads are constructed and uh, built and maybe there are some commercial uh, small shops along the roads so that road is directly then influencing type of land use as well and that again ultimately points to the whole urban form then individual city street patterns we'll talk we'll be very really visiting different patterns uh, uh, if you've not visited in the other lecture let me know if you already know about these street patterns so street patterns are there in which you are employing grid pattern curvy linear pattern cul de sac pattern there are so 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 many different types of patterns out there so which are which will you be employing in designing your own city or housing scheme for example that will ultimately affect your urban form okay then is your communication uh, uh, like uh, kind of uh, in the in the future, in the uh, i would say how you are laying down your road infrastructure that is a communication route in which uh, you are transport uh, nowadays uh, communication has not that much role because all of the communications are underneath but at that time we in the, in the past we need to be sure that high transmission lines can easily come over here so that are dependent the transmission lines of any kind of things uh, depend upon the road network for example a, a, a good example is that for example uh, i wanted a high uh, uh, high fiber internet connection in my own city in my in my house but it was not available in my house, uh, in my area because they said your area is not good plans it's it's an old area so we are not providing these kind of services because it's very difficult to lay down the infrastructure or the uh, that fiber network in your area so we are not launching it but it's available in high high areas or very planned areas smooth areas so that plays another role in your designing your urban form and then is the socio economic conditions uh if you are uh, uh, depending if you are uh how much income you have you might opt for or how much big your family is you will opt for larger plots or maybe small plots and how many ro rooms and construction how many height you will be uh, developing your uh, house uh, maybe for single story double story or even more than that so that plays a very important role important role in that might not play at individual level it might play a very important role but in the larger picture the whole socio economic condition of an area it gives you a view point for example this area is uh, socio economically poor so it means that maybe it's an old area or maybe some poor people or low income people live so depending on those socio economic condition prevailing in a settlement different type of services are provided and that services my life for example land use commercial maybe some small cottage industries are are setting up in those areas so that will then again ultimately link towards the shape of the city so you can easily say that okay this is a posh area this is a uh, unplanned area or something like that so it's kind of a give you urban form pictures if you look at your urban form like a picture of an of, a, of your city you can easily recognize okay this is a socio economically looks like low area because it is not planned properly or it might be an old area 
okay this is news development high profile area so socio economic conditions play a very vital role clear so any questions still now okay then is your maybe sometimes the people like to live uh, depending on the cultural uh, thing people or like to live together or they might have preference of living in a separate single house family and depending upon the jobs and their uh, uh, you can i would say preferences that also kind of uh, in the long run influences your long uh, your patterns uh, of your urban form so any question about it about factors uh, yes samant please sir uh, yes i can hear you area they might influence your pattern uh, form so one way or another those uh, seismic codes or seismic provisions in the building code they are kind of reflected in the planning regulations so we can lump uh, we can put it under the heading of regulations so yes of course uh, then if an area is flood prone area it is a heat wave risk area that area that planning should be uh, the planning regulation already accommodates kind of accommodates uh the requirements for that kind of natural hazards uh similarly in the in the uh, uh, we are very much opting uh, for uh, the design of city should be compact cities high density cities with public transportation system but uh, that in in this today's covid situation that built up density is very dip, very uh, bad for a pandemic and it's also very bad for the climate risks high hot zones those built up high density built up clusters will there will be some kind of cluster hot spots links of uh, heat waves in those high built up density areas but on the other hand it is very much energy efficient it can reduce the carbon emissions as well so uh, per capita it will reduce so i mean designing a city uh, it has so many difficult uh, for example uh, difficult or components or dimensions so it mostly depends upon the uh, planner or a designer uh, what what sort of approach he or she will be using in designing the city yes alia uh, sir aapki climate change adaptation strategies ki influence karti hongi na so in which of these would they fall okay uh, okay so as of yet uh, i would say that uh, in pakistan at least we have not not developed any kind of rules and regulations and the concept of climate change adaptation it is non existent in the master plans of the cities of pakistan uh, so yes climate change in the in the world what is happening they kind of make a, uh, they are very much employing a very dynamic kind of an approach in which uh, sometimes what they do that instead of just designing a housing scheme uh, in an area for example in a, i have given an area i want to design a housing scheme i what i do i took i take out my housing rules regulations okay this much percentage green built up paved okay okay i i designed that city on paper and then i submitted and got it approval from the depending on the scrutiny process uh, i got it i got it approved but what is happening sometimes i I've, i've seen case studies in the developed world what they doing what are they doing they are basically creating 3d models of that area in the in the real world like they get the data and they simulate it on gis they create 3d models and in 3d models the model tells you that this portion of the housing scheme it has a hot spot spot or climate risk a uh, heat wave uh, zone risk so what computer model suggests that maybe you should at this point of the city you should uh, uh, maybe add some green area so it will reduce the hot spot risk or uh, maybe because they employ all kind of uh, wind direction uh, land surface temperature uh, humidity so there are a lot of uh, uh, urban morphological parameters out there uh, 
which can be employed to design a climate resilient city. So, uh, but Salia, you're right. So I can talk about climate resilient cities a lot, but I think I should, uh, let's get back to the topic. But uh, there are so many techniques out there which are now influencing the urban form of the city. But you're right, I will add this point to my presentation as well. Uh, anything else, anyone? Anything else uh, on this uh, front? Any question? Sir, if you could repeat the communication point, okay, how does communication affect our urban patterns? Okay. By communication, we have seen that uh, uh, we have we have evolved into more a cyber uh, society. Like we, in the future, we are transferring into trans, uh, transitioning into, or you can say, converting into a uh, IT cities. So, in which road infrastructure will provides kind of a uh, provides access or the infrastructure which will support the communication or ICT or uh, IT in that city. So that road networks, I just gave you an example about the uh, high, high speed optic fiber, which was not available in my area because we're not properly planned. It was socioeconomic, socioeconomically okay, a bit uh, uh, not so much high. So that area, would they say that, okay, uh, we don't provide that because it is our your road network it does not support your uh, and communicate uh, the infrastructure any other question class any other or sh should i proceed further then okay so elements of reform we've talked about it in the previous lecture as well so buildings are there uh, so public spaces, green spaces are there, streets are there, transportation is there, and landscape is there. So these are some of the uh, landscape, uh, these elements of urban form. Uh, anyone wants to take a guess which city this is? So New York City? Yes, I feel like, yes, you're right. This is New York, Central, Central Park in New York. Yeah, yeah, so these are the elements. So I think I would now like to stop. And if again, if you have any questions, because anyone. No, OK, thank you, class. I'll stop the recording. Uh, yes, Samad, please. Yes. I Samad, I did not catch it again. Can you repeat kindly? Contours. Contours, okay. Contours along the front of the movie. I will have a 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 movie. Okay, so yes, you're saying that topography also plays a very important role. So yes, I agree that uh, topography, uh, especially in the areas, hilly areas, uh, topography plays a very better role. But as you see, most of the majority of the cities or uh, are in the plain areas or coastal cities, we call it near the coast, and all of them are plain. But you're right, in some instances, topography also plays a very vital role. Uh, but uh, I would say that, uh, okay, that can be added as a design component uh, to some extent i agree that contours but not all all the time it plays a role so yes you're right so any other question please cause let's stop the recording